Hey, how's it going, bros? So there are some good news for the Google Pixel fans out there. So Google has been teasing in their own official website that on May 7th or May 8th in India apparently something big is coming to the Pixel universe. So if you guys don't know, 7th May is the date for this year's Google I/O, the annual developer conference held by Google. So this might be a hint that they might be announcing the highly anticipated budget Pixel devices the Google Pixel 3a and the Google Pixel 3a XL so just like any other smartphone these days we get to know how the Google Pixel 3a and the 3a XL would look and feel like even before the official announcement thanks to those various leaks so in terms of looks both the Google Pixel 3a and the 3a XL looks almost the same with the only difference being its size the Google Pixel 3a will be smaller of the two, followed by the bigger Pixel 3a XL. Of course, internally, there will be some differences between the two, with the Google Pixel 3a XL being the more premium between the two, having more high-end specs compared to the Pixel 3a. Also, both the phones were officially spotted on the Google Play Developer Console with their code names. So, Sargo is the codename for the Google Pixel 3a and Bonito is the codename for the Google Pixel 3a XL. So let us first look at the Google Pixel 3a. So from the outside, we see that the Google Pixel 3a has the typical Google Pixel design language. So at the front, we have the 5.56 inch IPS display. Accompanying it, there is a huge forehead and a large chin that are really noticeable as compared to 2019 standards. At the back, we have a single camera setup along with an LED flash. So there will be no fancy dual camera or triple camera setup. But yes, Google is known for doing some amazing things with a single camera setup. Also, we see a capacitive fingerprint scanner at the back along with the Google logo at the bottom. At the right, we see a power button along with the volume rocker button below it. And at the left, we find the SIM tray. So there will apparently be no microSD card slot. Fortunately, there is the 3.5mm headphone jack at the top along with a microphone. And there is a USB Type-C connector at the bottom along with the two speaker grills. Now coming to the Google Pixel 3a XL, it looks almost the same as the smaller Google Pixel 3a with the only difference being the screen size, which in this case is a 6 inch Full HD Plus display. Now coming to the specs, the Google Pixel 3a is rumored to have these specifications. So the Google Pixel 3a is rumored to have a 5.56 inch IPS display with a resolution of 2220 by 1080 giving it a pixel density of 440 ppi. It is rumored to have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 670 processor along with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage with no microSD card expansion. The battery is rumored to be 2915mAh and for the camera, it is rumored to be a 12MP rear camera along with dual LED flash and for the front camera, it is rumored to be 8MP. It will obviously be running Android 9 Pi out of the box and as we have already seen, it will be having the USB Type-C connector and it will also have the 3.5mm headphone jack. As for the Google Pixel 3a XL, some of the rumored specifications are a 6 inch Full HD Plus display with a resolution of 2160 by 1080 pixels giving it a pixel density of 400 ppi and it is also rumored to have the more premium Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 processor. As we've already seen before, the Pixel 3a XL will also have a USB Type-C connector and a 3.5mm headphone jack. The Google Pixel 3a XL should also have 4GB of RAM on board. Also, this case renders leaks for the Google Pixel 3a and the Pixel 3a XL indicates that the launch of both the phones are imminent.
so that's it been for this video hope you guys liked it hope you guys enjoyed it do leave a like on this video if you guys liked it and also subscribe to my channel for more tech contents